Transport in Greenland The transportation system in Greenland is very unusual in that Greenland has no railways, no inland waterways, and virtually no roads between towns. Historically, the major means of transportation has been by boat around the coast in summer and by dog sled in winter, particularly in the north and east. While Germany occupied Denmark during World War II, the United States controlled Greenland and built bases and airports. The airports were codenamed as Blue E West 1 through to Blue E West 8 on the west of the island and Blue E East 1 to Blue E East 4 on the eastern side. Some had only seaplane access, some no air access. The largest of those airports, Blue E West 8, now renamed Kanker Luswake Airport, remains the international hub for travel to Greenland as it is the only airport that has a long enough runway to service jumbo jets. American authorities at one time entertained the idea of building a road from Kangar Luswake to the second largest airport, in Nasserswak, several hundred kilometers to the south. The idea was abandoned after feasibility studies failed to prove it was possible. These air bases are generally not located near settlements, so travelers need an air transfer by helicopter, small plane from Kangar Luswake. To reach settlements. All civil aviation matters are handled by the Civil Aviation Administration Denmark or the Greenland Airport Authority. Greenland now has 18 airstrips, 14 of which are paved. Some are based on U.S. air bases, but most are built by the Greenlandic government. All domestic flights are operated by Air Greenland. The name was anglicized in 2002 from the Danish Grønlands Fly, Greenland Air in English. International flights are limited to four weekly flights from Copenhagen to Kangar Luswag, and to Reykjavik, Iceland. Air Iceland flies from Reykjavik to Nasserswak. It offers also day trips to the wilderness from Reykjavik to Kulusuk on the east coast. Air Iceland flies to Itokortormid over Kulusuk once or twice a week throughout the year. Flights from Reykjavik are flown throughout the year. Also, year round flights from Reykjavik to Ilulisat will be offered after April 2011. From 2012 Air Greenland operates a route from Iqaluit in Canada to Nuuk during summer. Air cargo is very important for Greenland. Most perishable foodstuff is imported from Denmark by air. It uses the Air Greenland Copenhagen Kanger Luswake passenger aircraft, and this is the reason why such a large aircraft is used. The air containers are then transported to the other airports by the small planes that can use the small runways. Some air cargo is transported by boat from Kanger Luswake but not in the winter when the Kangar Luswake Fjord freezes, one of the reasons to build the Sisimiu Kangar Luswake Road. A state-owned firm called Kalalit Airports is currently tasked with operating and updating the airports in Nuuk and Ilulisat. This process has been contentious as Chinese firms bid for the contract, with one Danish PM stating we don't want a communist dictatorship in our backyard. There are no roads between settlements, only within them and around them. There are 150 kilometers, 90 miles, of roads in the whole country, 60 kilometers, 40 miles, of the roads are paved. The roads are primary or local roads, there are no highways in Greenland. Speed limit ranges from for local roads to on primary roads. Some farms in the south have fairly extensive very simple roads for terrain vehicles, not included in above figure, used for sheep farming and hay collection. There are plans for a road between Sisimi Ud and Kangar Luswake, discussed for several years but still not decided, as of 2013. There are ports at Ilulisat, Kanker Luswag, also known by its Danish name Sandre Stromfjord, Kakortok, Narsik, Nuuk, Gotthop, Asiat and Sisimiut. Several other towns have also small ports. The only two users of the harbors are Royal Arctic Line and Arctic Umiak Line. Royal Arctic Line organizes freight ships, for example container ships, with regular sailings from Denmark. Arctic Umiak Line runs a passenger ship which also quarries freight. The distance from Denmark to Nuuk by ship is 3,800 kilometers, 2,400 miles slash 2,000 nautical miles slash 4 days at 20 knot, so more perishable foodstuff is imported by air. There are no car ferries in Greenland or to Greenland. It is possible to transport cars as container freight with Royal Arctic Line, both domestic and from Denmark. Passengers must travel with another method. This is done mostly when moving or buying a car, not normally when traveling as there is no large road network anywhere. Historically, special-purpose narrow-gauge railways, such as the Gage Kurnik Express in the village of Kurnik in the Nuuk Fjord, have operated. The Kurnik Express was used for transporting fish from the harbor to scaffolds for drying. The railway cars were only flatbed wagon cars with no locomotive. Esto moved them. Built in 1955. 
the railway was abandoned shortly before the village around 1971. Besides Kurnik there are several other railways that existed in Greenland. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.